Lemoyne and Wood. Where Alan Suchkoff says he started his final ride as a Lyft driver. Or almost started it. And as soon as I put it on drive, one of them started yelling at me. He was like, put it on park. Suchkoff says one of the two passengers put a gun to his head. They stole his phone and wallet before yanking him out and driving off with his Audi around 4 a.m. January 17th. You know, I was so disoriented. I was, you know, I was in terror. I was so shocked. Like, I did, like... I felt like I'm in a parallel universe. Police say just in the past few weeks, six other rideshare drivers were carjacked in the Wicker Park and Bucktown areas. Drivers are calling on Uber and Lyft to step up their security. So is Bryant Greening, an attorney with the Chicago-based firm Legal Rideshare. He points out that drivers are required to upload a photo to their account, but passengers don't need to do that. So if there's a photo of the passenger, they can check to make sure that they're picking up the right person. On my own account, I found I was able to order a ride without even verifying my email. Ensuring that phone numbers are linked to specific people, credit cards are linked to specific people. Um, by not having certain uh, basic requirements, it gives criminals the opportunity to take advantage of the system. Greening also says due to passenger privacy concerns, Uber and Lyft are sometimes reluctant to give up information to drivers, lawyers, or even police. Suchkov says CPD officers told him the same thing when he suggested they work with Lyft to see if they have any information to track down the suspects. And it's only getting worse because nothing is being done about it. Lyft expressed their concern to Suchkov and sent him an email reminding him that he could rent a car through Lyft at a weekly rate to continue driving for them. You know, why don't I go out there and try to get murdered two nights in a row, right? That's how I thought about it. He turned them down on that and rented a car on his own to get around. He's now looking for a new job. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.